I know like you've vocally supported Israel a lot in the past. Yep. And I'd just like to ask, have your views changed at all since the October 7th event? Yes and no. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are meeting me for the first time, my name is Clevy and it is so nice to meet you. You guys, we have another video before us today and this is titled, I can show you exactly why Israel should exist. We all know... Um, seen a couple of comments i mean if you've always talked about this issue you know you would see it in the comment section always a lot of people believe that israel shouldn't be there in the first place israel shouldn't even exist and so charlie kirk is saying that he can show us exactly why israel should exist and let's check this out with the events that have happened so i know like you've vocally supported israel a lot in the past yep. and I'd just like to ask, have your views changed at all since the October 7th event? Yes and no. Okay. I mean, have they changed? I want to be very clear. What are my views? I, I, I've been to Israel twice. I love Israel. I love Israel the place. I love Israel. Um, I love Israel as it protects access to biblical archaeology. Um, okay. I'm not an unapologetic defender of the government of Israel, and I want to make sure that's clear. But I am a defender of the nation state of Israel to exist as, as a homeland for the Jewish people. Um, but I, I, anytime Israel does something I don't like, I say something about it okay. and I get attacked from every side. I get called a Jewish <laughs> shill by some people and then I get attacked as anti-Semitic. For example, I was one of the leading voices that said it was very suspicious, the intel failure that led to October 7th. I, yeah. I was one of the few people that was willing to say that and I stand by that. Okay. Yeah, that's great to hear. But, but I, I, I am very pro-Israel as far as the promise of the Jewish people, 7 million individuals out of 14, having a home. I, I believe that is an idea that needs to be defended, a, a, a Jewish state in the Middle East. I do. Okay. But why does it need to be defended by U.S. tax dollars? No, that's, that's a good question. So, okay. um, to the amount... Because a lot of people have said this. Um, a lot of people... Yeah, okay, let them finish. Now, it's hard, to, it's hard to justify the amount of money recently, mm -hmm. the $26 billion. Yeah. But are you a Christian? Uh, yes, I am a Christian, but I do not believe in the Schofield Bible. Because okay. I know the Schofield Bible is the Bible that a lot of Christian Zionists cite. So yes, I am a Christian, but I am not a Zionist. Yeah, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna even win you over on Zionism. Okay. I do believe that Israel has a place in God's plan, but I'm not even going to win you over on that. Okay. But I think I can win you over that we should, as Christians, have access to... Capernaum, Nazareth, the Mount of the Beatitudes, and what happens when we don't, for example, in Bethlehem, it is harder and harder for Christians to access those holy sites. Why? So my main contention is that the veracity of the scriptures is proven true by our ability to navigate the Holy Land. But is okay. that harder based on the Palestinian government yes. or the Israeli government the, having this very tight controls on who visits the West Bank and the Gaza this Strip? This particular okay. example in Bethlehem, the birthplace of our Lord and Savior, okay. uh, is controlled by the PA. And Muslims have largely taken over the Bethlehem, and it is very unsafe for Christians to visit Bethlehem. Well, like, Muslims regard Jesus oh, a lot wow. higher than That's Jews right. he is the fourth. You're right. He is the fourth holiest figure in Islam. Yeah. Um, and in, in traditional uh, Talmudic Judaism, Jesus is not very... Yeah, they, they say a yeah. lot of nasty things it's, about him in the Talmud. But, however, I will say, though, that in Israel under its current government, if you and I went right now, I could show you where Jesus rose from the dead. Okay. I can show you where Jesus walked on water. Okay. I can show you where Jesus preached the Mount of the Beatitudes. I cannot right now safely bring you to the Hall of the Patriarchs in Hebron, the Hall of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Sarah, Rebecca, and Leah, because that is largely under Palestinian control. There's one sliver controlled by the Israeli government. Oh. So there's two sides to this. Um, and insofar that we are allowed as Christians access to the holy sites, and then I'm not going to win you on the other one, which is I do believe that Israel has a place in God's final plan, but I'm not going to win you over on that. So. I mean, I just believe that, I mean, like from reading the Bible, when Jesus is referring to Israel, he is referring to people that follow him. Like when, like when you told Paul and the other apostles, you said, go preach to the Gentiles because... Anyone who accepts Christ has a place in God's kingdom. No, you're mm -hmm. totally right. Because we so, had the old, we had the old covenant where, I mean, of course, foreigners could join, but they did make it very hard. Very where, where God said.
to Abraham that his descendants would bless mankind. And that G- blessing Genesis was, 12, 3. Yes, and that blessing <laughs> was the Savior of mankind. And the Savior of mankind said, the old laws have been fulfilled. Now there's a new law yep. where follow me and you are saved. So mm-hmm. we're not so, going to agree on this. There's a biblical prophecy that talks about Israel being spread across all the nations and being bound up in normative evangelical theology, which I believe in is we believe that the creation of the state of Israel in the 1940s was a fulfillment of that prophecy. We're not going to agree on that, right? I mean, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Latter-day Saint. No, that's fine. I know we're not going to agree on it. But, hey, I will say, though, the LDS, they have an amazing church in Jerusalem. You should visit it sometime. Yeah, the Jerusalem Center. I know. You should yeah. check it out. God bless, man. Thanks for your support. Appreciate it. All right, it. Christ is king. I agree. Christ is king. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. That was nice. That was nice. You guys, um, we've been diving a lot into, you know, all of this debate that, you know, I think we can't forestall that, you know, Charlie has been, you know, attending. And we've had, like, good, good debates with, you know, people. And um, he, he made valid points. You guys, what do you think? What is your own opinion? As usual, like I usually say, this video starts in the comment section. Be respectful when you pass it, um, your own opinions and thought. Like I usually also say, because I say this every single video, I don't get tired of saying it. You guys, humanity first. I'd see you in the comment section. <laughs>